welcome students to my YouTube channel again. So today I'm here with the next video on the topic of uh, differences between monocots and dicots. I know that you are familiar with this monocots and dicots, but also I'm here with the, some extra points about monocots and the dicots, um, which helps you to enhance your knowledge. So let's start. So yes, monocots means the seeds which contains only one cotyledons. And the dicots, which contains the two cotyledons, leaves contain the parallel venations. Like in the uh, maize, you can see there the leaves are um, leaves contains the veins which are parallel. But in the case of the dicots, the leaves are Rams in a reticulate venation like in a rose and about root system it has a fibrous root system which you can see in the wheat, maize, rice and in the dicots there is a presence of a tap root system and in the monocots distinct nodes and internodes are present while in the dicots, distinct nodes and interdones are absent. In the monocots, there is a presence of endosperm, which acts as a foot. But in the dicots, there is no presence of endosperm. Helium and micropyle are not visible in the monocots. So, helium is a scar on the seat that shows the location at which the ovule and the ovary wall attach to each other. Well, the micropyle is a small pore which shows the point from which the pollen tube enter the ovary during the fertilization. And in the dicots, helium and micropyle are visible. So the helium are the micropyle which involves in a fertilization. Embryo is small in a monocots. Embryo is a large in a dicots. Plumuli is a very small in a monocots. Plumuli is a large in a dicots. And plumuli, which helps in a development of a shoot system. So here I have shown you some pictures about the reticulate venation and the parallel venation. So reticulate venation means here the vents are like not parallel. And then the parallel venation, the vents are arranged in a parallel way. And the, uh, this kind of a parallel venation, I have already told you that we can see in the maize, wheat, rice. And reticulate venation, we can see in the rose, mustard plant, etc. And yes, here I have included the figure of a taproot system and the fibrous root system. Taproot system, yes, we can see in the uh, mustard plant and a fibrous, yes, we can see in the rice. Here is assignment for you. These are the references. Thank you.